Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. 8.45 on a Monday morning. Good to have you along. Temperatures generally in the mid-40s. President Laura Douglas joining us uh, for a monthly visit. Laura, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Happy Monday, Heck. You too. How, how was your weekend? Mine was great. Got outside, did a hike, and uh, really enjoyed the beautiful weather. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, not so nice today, but at least uh, it's not raining. So that's we'll take that. I guess it's better than better than I guess a rainy uh, Monday might be a f- few sprinkles later, but no big deal. We've been uh, we've been okay the first half of the month of April. Uh, maybe not so lucky in the second half. We'll see what goes. Anyway, some uh, some exciting stuffs uh, happening at Bristol Community College, including, of course, we're talking uh, spring semester, and I'm a I was thinking earlier this morning, I said this a few moments ago, uh, I would imagine the fall semester might be different than the spring semester, but you can fill us in at this opportunity and uh, tell us what uh, what's going on. Sure, heck. Well, um, people are going are wondering, what is it going to look like? What is it going to be like when we go back to school? Uh, we do have a full summer semester uh, available. Uh, students are registering now. Uh, we actually have three summer terms, and the last summer term, which is the latest start, we are expanding our face-to-face options. So we will have, uh, students will have the opportunity to learn online, but they'll also have the opportunity uh, to come back to the classroom as a hybrid student, which is part face-to-face and partially online. Um, so, uh, and then the, and the goal for us is to be as flexible as possible, understanding that some students are ready to come back and then some students just are, are not, you know, are, are a little bit more comfortable still online. Um, we also, what's important to know about summer, uh, is that, um, you know, we have four locations. So Attleboro, Fall River, and New Bedford will all have some of those face-to-face options. Uh, Taunton will not. Uh, we actually have a new campus that we're going to be uh, announcing pretty soon uh, near the Taunton Center. Um, and so that face-to-face instruction won't happen until fall. Uh, but in the fall, we are planning increased instruction and face-to-face services uh, at all of our locations, Attleboro, Fall River, New Bedford, and Taunton. Um, And it is uh, very exciting for us uh, because we know students uh, want to come back. Um, I think the the thing that everyone needs to know, whether you're going to any college or university in Massachusetts, is the guidelines are the same. Uh, We will be masked. uh, We will be socially distanced. Um, So uh, even the big universities are, are, they say, you know, well, we're going to be back as usual. Well, it's not exactly as usual. It will be masked. It will be socially distanced. One of the reasons, heck, that we are uh, hybrid face-to-face is because we have small class sizes, and that means that our classrooms are typically pretty small. So we know exactly how many students will fit in a class six feet apart, and it doesn't, and we can't fit everybody in a class. So students can maybe come in uh, once a week or twice a week or three times a week, whatever their schedule, uh, uh, whatever they're interested in, and they can uh, have that in in time face-to-face uh, instruction as well as some online. And then if things don't go well with the pandemic, and we don't expect that, we expect things to get better, but if things, you know, do get challenging or we have a situation where we need to stop a class, then the instruction will just continue online for those, you know, for any time that we might need to roll back. So it's a flexible option, and I think it's going to be really good for our students, um, our faculty and staff as well. We are not um, requiring vaccinations, but we are strongly encouraging everyone to get vaccines. Um, 
most of our faculty and staff are already in process, it seems. Many of them are emailing me saying they got their first shot or they're one and done at Johnson & Johnson. Um, our students seem very encouraged. That will be one of the most important ways for us to stay safe. Uh, the other thing is that we will continue to do our COVID-19 testing as a way to test for students that might be asymptomatic. Uh, so that's another expectation. Um, you know, right now, students, depending on their programs, like if they're health sciences, they'll test every week. Um, some other students may just test every other week. But this is all about safety. We're safe, we're open, we're ready for students, and we continue to lead with safety. All so right. it's a safe environment, and we feel really good about that. That's uh, that's great stuff. It's it's uh, good to hear all of that. So uh, the protocols stay in place for spring, summer. You think there are like guidelines might be loosened a little bit in the fall, or you just can't make a prediction at this point? That's a great question. So in a recent meeting with the um, with Secretary Pizer from the Department of Ed here in Massachusetts. We learned that the um, handbook may be updated for us uh, in draft form by the end of April. So we are all awaiting those guidelines. And, you know, we're, we're telling people that, you know, as things move along, uh, we need to be ready to, to make changes. So uh, we don't expect that anything is necessarily set in stone. Uh, we will continue to assess, and if things, uh, you know, show that we can change, uh, we will certainly be there ready to change and, and to follow those guidelines. So we look at the state guidelines, of course, the federal guidelines. We have to, all the colleges and universities and schools in Massachusetts have to achieve, have to adhere to certain guidelines. Uh, I think that's just a really important message. And, um, and Massachusetts has done a great job. So we uh, we have faith that um, that we will be able to provide a really safe environment for everyone. All right. I know that uh, Bristol Community College has been the site, of course, for testing and also vaccines. And uh, and we understand the process going along beautifully. Uh, you're not you're not. Uh, it's not your affiliation, but you are providing uh, you're providing the site, I guess, for folks to come on by, and uh, and and I, I understand everything is going along very smoothly, as I guess the case for all 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 along the South Coast. I mean, when you hear people tell about their experiences, say it was it was just so smooth, so nice, everybody was so <laughs> so professional. So that's great to hear. Yes, well, you know, actually on Friday I was at the Stop the Spread uh, COVID-19 testing uh, site myself. I go regularly. Uh, I try to be a good role model. Um, and we actually have some on-campus activities uh, this week. We are doing taping for graduation. So I wanted to make sure I was safe. You know, it's so easy to sign up. It's so easy to go, go through the line. You don't even get out of your car. It's it's just wonderful. You know, this has been a very interesting time, whether it's a vaccination, a COVID-19 test, um, even our instructors uh, and professors at Bristol, everybody's just doing such a good job. They're paying attention. Uh, everyone seems to be our hero out there. You know, heck, everybody's really working for the health and safety of our of, of our college community and the, the greater community as well. It's, it's fantastic. It is indeed. Well, thank you. We appreciate you uh, stopping by for your monthly visit, Bristol Community College, uh, sponsoring this uh, segment, and we we thank them very much. Uh, Laura, you have a great week, and uh, we'll touch base in the month of May. Hey! Stay safe. Bye! All right. You take care as well. Bye.